Well, we'll uh, welcome our next, our we next group. Um, yeah. Academics and multi-stringed instruments. You can't beat the can't beat the combination. Uh, combination. So. Well, an XLR for this. Um, the mandolin has been played in different Sorters cultures the around the, the, the world, and uh, uh, we're going to hear a good selection of them from Mandology here from Lewis and Ken and Maria. So, give them a warm welcome. Thanks, everybody. We're still uh, waiting for, yeah, for some uh, mics to come online here, so you can hear our lovely tuning. Uh, you probably didn't know, this is mostly a show about tuning, yeah. uh, and I think we're there then, yeah? All right. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> going to hear a single mandolin in tune this whole weekend. We thought by uh, putting three together, you might have a chance of, you know, one full set of strings between the three, but I don't think we got there. <laughs> so for our, uh, our next song, as we're tuning, I want to introduce Maria here to my right, tuning up her fiddle. Uh, she is our, our fiddlist. 
Uh, and you just saw her on Mandolin, and she'll be on uh, Mandola later on today. And uh, she's also a physical therapist and uh, a great friend. The next song we're going to be playing switch. for you is called The Plumin. Uh, we're taking a uh, cue off of Emily Smith's version of it. Uh, it's a Scottish song. She's an excellent singer, and I aspire to such greatness. Wait for another second. I got a tune. Yeah. Okay. Well, as you all know, this is the Mandology tuning show. The songs are just a, a distraction. <laughs>
my right, we have Mr. Ken Gilman, mandolinist, psychologist extraordinaire. He's going to be also singing some vocals and playing bass mandolin and bazooki for us this, this afternoon. Next up, in our <clears throat> next up in our queue is a 17th century Northumbrian pipe tune that we're going to do without benefit you of forgot the tuning. pipers. This is a tune I learned from Scottish border piper Matt Seattle. Lots and lots of tuning in between, too. You know, uh, in a, a band I used to play in many years ago, we had a joke on stage. I was the only mandolin player, so I'm in, I'm in good company here, at least. They used to say, man, how do you get one, even one mandolin to stay in tune? And there were v various answers to that joke, depending on uh, what kind of crowd. Since we have an online crowd as well as an in-person crowd, I'll tell you both endings. One of them was, uh, you ask, how do you get a mandolin to play in tune? And you just wait and you say, well, if anyone, if anyone knows the answer, let me know. Here's my email. Uh, the other answer is you have to shoot two of them. I think I'm there, actually. Uh, while we're waiting for some more tuning, this is this mandolin's very first ever performance. It's a baby. Yay! No stage fright yet. left here we have Lewis who's my favorite mandolin playing astrophysicist will also be seen on bazooki and vocals and uh, you know though we are called mandology we could just as easily have been called the Celtic geeks because between the uh, three of us we have eight full secondary degrees some of which we use from, from time to time Thank you. 
it. This uh, this next one is a Bach piece, uh, and it's a Bach Invention number four for a keyboard. So we we arranged it for three parts. called Harder to Walk. It's a Corrine Polwart uh, song. She wrote it. She's an amazing singer-songwriter, Scottish also, um, <coughs> and particularly poignant to pretty much any time. <laughs> if you listen to the lyrics, her lyrics are gorgeous. Thank you. 
some water. I think I'm singing the next one. Uh, it's a tune I got, a song I got from uh, one of my all-time favorite bands, The Old Blind Dogs. I, I learned it from their, one of their CDs at some point. Um, mm. Beautiful, life-giving water. Mm. Uh, and just to tell you how nerdy we are, Ken and I once spent well, well over an hour trying to decipher if this was a, had or a sad or a happy song, uh, which involved several currency conversions, historical charts, and, and other things. We, we decided that it was a sad song because it's, um, it's either Irish or Scottish, so it's, it must be. That's, that's the main mode of, of how these things go. Yeah, go right ahead.
what's next? Oh, this is a next is a, a set of tunes that I put together. Three of my favorite, fairly modern Irish tunes. Uh, first is a, a regular double jig, then we have a very nice slip jig, uh, and then we are back to a, a double jig. Um, all pretty modern within the last 50 years. <laughs> Actually, all probably within the last 20 years. Ooh, I'm close to in tune. You'll see a, see a quick instrument change in the middle here.
tune set we have for you is a, a trio of traditional tunes that Lewis brought to us from his old band in Hawaii called Celtic Waves and uh, it's uh, mostly they're modern tunes yeah traditional but modern not yeah. traditional semi-traditional they're all modern um, and Windbroke, modern. Windbroke was written, written by Mike McGoldrick who's a, a jazz player really all right before we got into the track. it's the Caribou Windbroke and Glass Island some pace on it right but yes, just a little bit.
Thank you. Okay, we have one last tune for you. One more song. That's in the lyrics of this one. This is a this is a favorite of mine of ours. It's a great close. Oh, thank you. I need a water. Oh. Ah. Well, that's nice water. Mm, delicious, refreshing, lovely. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you guys like drinking, this is a great drinking song. <laughs> Great tuning song, too. Uh, okay. Get the sweat out of my face. Never mind the money, Joe will take our wage and drink. Give us one more chorus, one more song, one more tune, and then we'll be gone. It's early in the morning, we'll be leaving soon, and so give us one more song, then we'll go. Soon the tunes were fairly belting out, and songs were sung as well. But this was Joe's first day at work, he was in barman hell. He says, I'll get me jotters, and you'll be barred for life. But the fiddler was the landlord, and the banjo player's his wife. So give us one more chorus, one more song, one more tune, and then we'll be gone. It's early in the morning, we'll be leaving soon, and so give us one more song, then we'll go. Next thing the doors flew open, it's an ill wind that blows. Right there stood two policemen, and everybody froze. They marched up to our table, all menacing and slow, saying, play the mason's apron, it's the only tune we know. the bar. We packed away our whistles, fiddles, keyboards, and guitars. We moved out to the busy street, our headaches coming on. Then the piper said, it's opening time, let's all head for the drawn. So give us one more chorus, one more song, one more tune, and then we'll be gone. It's early in the morning, we'll be leaving soon, and so give us one more song, then we'll go. Yeah, give us one more chorus, one more song, one more tune, and then we'll be gone. It's early in the morning, we'll be leaving soon, and so give us one more song, then we'll go. Let's go! Thank you. 
extend another hand for Mandala. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Right now. Right now. Momentarily now. And uh, you can we'll let the music start. Yeah. Take a break there up there and underneath that other thing. Otherwise, cool off the best you can. Right. 